So now I'd like to uh, thank the Home Depot Foundation uh, for their sponsorship of our conference. And representing the foundation is Heather Pritchard. Uh, Heather is the manager of national partnerships and the Atlanta Hometown Giving for the Home Depot Foundation. Uh, the mission of the Home Depot Foundation is to improve the homes and lives of U.S. military veterans and their families. Since 2011, they've invested more than $80 million to support the housing needs of veterans, and they have supported the, ver the veterans track at this conference. We have some workshops on veterans sponsored by the Home Depot Foundation. We would like to thank them for their support, and we would like to thank you, Heather. All right, how's everybody doing? Great, great. Good, lunch was good? Yeah, yeah. So I promise to keep this brief because I have not finished my dessert yet and I'm scared they're going to take it away. I, I threatened to jump off the stage. Um, so quickly, again, my name is Heather Pritchard. I'm with the Home Depot Foundation, representing the Home Depot and the Foundation. And it is truly an honor to be here with you all today. I want to thank you for the incredible work that you're doing in communities across the country. And as Moises said, in 2011, the Home Depot made a commitment to housing for veterans. And since then, we have invested more than $82 million across the country into housing for veterans. Thank you. <clears throat> and that $82 million has impacted more than 15,000 units of housing for veterans. And we've done that all with our nonprofit partners and with Team Depot across the country. And I want to tell you guys about Team Depot, but I can't explain it as well as I can show it. So what I'm going to do with the last of my three to five minutes is actually introduce you to Corporal Todd Love. He is a veteran that we were able to help in Douglasville, Georgia, which is a, a more rural community right outside of Atlanta. But I just want you guys to have a chance to see what Team Depot is all about and the work that we do. So thank you so much for having me. My dad was a Marine and my grandfather was a Marine as well, so I actually went to a recruiting station and I was going to join the Air Force, but it just wasn't my style. I was in Afghanistan for about five months. Um, for the most part, I was a, a saw gunner. Eventually, my job description changed and I became the point man. I ended up stepping on an IED. Uh, I lost my legs immediately. Uh, my hand was really badly injured. Um, it wasn't amputated until about a week later or so, maybe a little bit longer than that. I, I remember being thankful that it was me instead of any of the guys in my platoon. Um, they're some of my best friends that, I, I, that I've ever had my entire life and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. I definitely, I had doubts. You know, I, I had no idea what my life would be like. And, you know, in all honesty, the only thing I could do is just kind of shove it to the side and be like, just start over and, and just hope. All of these things start out as just a thought. You know, I, I thought about skydiving or I thought about skiing, you know, and then I like actually focused on it. And then it just snowballed and it turned into something amazing. And it makes me wonder like what aspect of my life am I putting limitations on myself? Because I used to think I couldn't skydive. I thought that, that there was no hope for that, you know, and and then after I did the tandem, it really got me thinking, you know, and, and I wonder now, like, what, am, what are we capable of, you know, like, what, what do I want to do in life, like, and I kind of feel this, like, this hope of, like, I have, like, an infinite possibility of what my future could hold for me, and as for the house, I'm really excited about that, you know, be able to raise a family one day, maybe, I have, all these experiences and I, I feel like it's, it's great. I feel like I'm coming up to like a new chapter in life, like a clean slate and I feel like the home will give me like a firm grip on my life. <laughs> 